Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel. This is an update to a stream that I tried to have on, well, today. You can, s you don't see the date. That is a true statement right now, and I messed this up. There we go. Need my watermark so people know it's my video. Um, but this is an update to a stream that I had that kind of failed because my internet just wasn't cooperating and I was just dropping connection constantly still don't know why because my internet was fine once I stopped streaming so I don't really know what was going on but what I was doing in the stream was modding this old drag racing game called drag racer v3 or no ev3 drag racing sorry it's basically the same thing backwards it pisses me off but I was modding the game and I came up with a cool couple of features in the game um, that are finally 100% set uh, I'm going to continue to search for more features because I want more features in the game. There's a few that I have that are not yet working, but I will work on that in the future. So here's the uh, features that work 100% right now. Uh, buy and remove, or uh, I guess I should call it install, but like buy, install, or remove parts regardless of if your car has damage. Um instant gear shift kind of works so i have to put some time lag into the gear shifting because of another feature um of this hack basically it the game just doesn't work if i don't have some sort of time um for shifting because the computer needs to calculate it so i had instant shifting at 0 0.01 seconds and it has to be at least like I think 0 0.09 is the fastest on my computer of a second, um, 0 0.09 seconds for the shifting to not bug and just instantly shift you to fourth gear. That's what was happening with the basic auto shift that is set up on this. Eventually I'll have a mod menu set up on this. You can actually control that timing and where the shifting actually happens. Um, it'll be something that I'll basically have like a little menu on the side where you'll select, uh, you'll click a button, you know, maybe I'll have several buttons because it'll be that kind of menu. I'll kind of copy off of like WWE client or something like that from Minecraft. I'll have a set amount of buttons. You'll click the button. It'll be like shift for this gear, this gear, this gear, and this gear, and what RPM. And then you'll just simply type in the RPM into that box, uh, close the menu, and then it'll shift at that RPM. Um, that'll be a really cool thing. And then you should be able to... Uh, oh, and the over rev limit you'll be able to control on your car right now too. So stock over rev in this game is plus 200 of your rev limit. So if your rev limit on the car is 6,500 RPMs, you can now rev limit to 7,000 RPMs. Uh, instead of, you know, 6,700. You know, you know what sounds really weird to say? This is one of those ADHD moments, I'm sorry. Um, but, you know, we say 6,500, but we'll say 7,000. You know what sounds really weird? 7,000. You can now shift at 7,000 RPMs. <laughs> I don't know that's my that's my stupidity out of the way so let me show you the auto shift i also did kind of bug up paint but like it's still ugly and this is without any mods applied so don't look at me but we're gonna go do a test drive race here i have the volume on my computer turned off obviously because i want you guys to be able to hear me but this is the auto staging feature that's actually already built into the game I don't yet have auto launch working because I haven't found quite a good way to do it yet. Um, but I feel like it should be easier than I'm making it out to be. But that's okay. As you can see, it is definitely shifting quickly. And I had some nice tire spin there. But I'm going to find a way to just shoot tire grip to the moon. That's basically my next goal here. But I have not hit any keys. You can hear during the recording, I'm not hitting any keys except to launch the car. That's not a bad reaction time. I'm happy with that. Um, 
I didn't get any engine damage from that race because I didn't overdo it. But I'm going to be entirely quiet through this run. You'll hear one key tap and maybe my mouse click. You'll hear one key tap and that's it. That's because I'm not shifting the car. The game is auto shifting. So here we go. That was my mouse. While that was a terrible race on my part because of the tire spin, um, complete auto launch. I'm also going to try to add brake launching or like a rev limit or rev control or two step where you can basically just set whatever RPM you want and that's as high as the actual gas will go even if you put it all the way to the top, um, at least before launch, and then it'll launch the car. So that's another feature I'm going to try to bring to this, but that's down the road also you might be seeing the uh, username here i've had this account for years <laughs> since legends i've had this account but as you can see i'm not getting any engine damage as well which is pretty nice so it, it's while the game isn't perfect it's it's still something for pc so, like, we're going to go do a race against an opponent, see what happens. But next on my list is tire grip and um, <clears throat> auto launch. So you don't have to launch the car at all yourself. The car will do it for you. We're only going to rev like 2K-ish. And I'm tire spinning. I'm going to downshift to be faster. The game does not actually recognize uh, what gear you're in, at least for my auto shifter. That's why I call it basic auto shift. So since the game doesn't recognize what gear you're in with my shifter, uh, I don't have yet set timers for specifically shifting on this gear. It's not set up like a bot. It's literally checking RPM and then just doing a random number generation for where to shift after that certain RPM. So basically it's if current RPM is greater than or equal to rev limiter minus, I think it's like a random number generation between 500 and 600, just to keep it looking somewhat legitimate, uh, that's basically how it knows. So I suck, but that's okay. I'm not winning anything there, but I didn't get jack shit. But I'm going to keep playing the game, actually. I might honestly keep playing this game and just see what else we can mod. Right now, I'm going to work on Tire Grip, but I am going to back up this DLL and use this as my base DLL because these features work. So once I get Tire Grip working, then I'll work on Auto Launch, and I'll work on Rev Launcher after that. So there's a nice long road, but if you want to play this game with me and you want to have this mod as well, um, let me know in the comments down below. We'll play this game together. It'll be a ton of fun. I'll stream it and do events and stuff like that. And we'll go from there. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed the update on the EV3 hack. And peace out.